packing today to Saturday of 9 of June and uh, today we are packing our bikes and we are going up a mountain and so yes and so we want to be up in the park think of nature park we are ending the way to cars yeah way to cars and uh, yeah we have actually seen on our map we are very close to Iran because yeah and now we want to come to Iran so yes and Turkey wants to come to Armenia and Georgian because now we have been lots of time in Turkey so let's go to the bikes okay it's rolling away from abundant petrol station camping see if we can do 80 kilometers today and 50 of them flat and then the rest is up there. so uh Go and see a little bit more of East Turkey here yeah. on the way to Georgia. So, leaving the town there, I've stocked up with food again. Hello. Now the scenery is changing, the flat plains are gone. There has to be a kind of canyon in front of us. Not a bad bike ride for a Saturday afternoon. Most beautiful landscape we're coming through at the moment. Probably the nicest scenery I've ever cycled past on a Saturday. Might need two videos today. The best thing is we're still actually going downhill. Yeah, that's correct from yesterday morning until now it's just been pretty much downhill or flat. Real Indiana Jones Bridge there. All these caves there. You just never know what's waiting for us around the corner. That's protector donkey. He's protecting all the cows, I think. Mountaineering sheep there, by the looks of it. Probably some of the most beautiful mountain scenery we've had so far on the trip. Got to be up there with uh, some of the best places we've been or seen. And uh, the good thing is where we're heading now. I mean, you've got more of this to come. There's just as many sheep here as in Wales. I need to continue the brew. Green landscape here just reminds me more and more. Amazing how green and beautiful it is. And the road is still falling. Which makes this road even better. And you can just sit here and enjoy the view. And there's only 80. It's a car. That's falling quite quickly. Okay, so that lunch here. I need to get ready to wake up again. <laughs> so now we've got a, a five or six kilometers more following the river then we should head through uh, the mountains again so let's uh, see how we get on <laughs> Yeah. 
Look okay, where we stop now. People come to us where we're going and where we're from. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're in this uh, little tea house. We have to sit inside because it's Ramadan. He wouldn't let us sit outside. And Meta wanted a cup of tea, so. <laughs> I love an afternoon break, then yeah. my day is good. Yeah. But all the other coffee shops here, well, not coffee shops, tea little tea shops. Nobody sit. People still sit there, but they don't drink anything. Yeah, but it's very funny they still sit there. But they let us have tea, as long as we sit inside, so that's. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so deep in the town here we got some chai, that was nice. Little tea shop that the uh, Muda found. We wasn't the only ones having tea, actually the others they just went inside as well eating and drinking tea, so maybe they just have to do it in secret maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> they were nice and friendly people again. Now we have to do a bit of climbing I think. Up to a national park where we should be able to camp. That should be nice. But, uh... Okay, we left the river and the valley now, but the scenery is just as impressive. Actually, quite warm as well today. This area of uh, Turkey is actually the coldest, or should be the coldest area in the whole of Turkey. And this town here, cars we're heading for, that sit at a high elevation. But uh, now we're at 1,500 meters. I have to climb up to 2,000 now. Oh, two nice men just stopped and offered us a lift up this mountain here, which is quite kind of them. The only problem is now we're only a few days away from finishing the whole of Turkey and we can say we've ridden the whole every kilometre so he just said no this is the main the last real climb we have and after then it's only and it's uh, pretty flat and only some slight up and downs towards the border of Georgia so yeah I'll see if we can manage this one last mountain get to the border we can say we've done everything cycled every meter of Turkey from west to east. Can you believe there was a little Nora that just stopped and asked if we wanted a lift I told them and already. we said no can't believe it but Andrew's determined to bike all of Turkey and Jamie and I are we sometimes we are and sometimes we let's just get a lift but okay now we're doing it. Of course, this hill is just worse than the others. So, now we're we'll looking on. A very nice man now offering a lift. Meadow and Jamie are really becoming good mountain climbers. Sometimes at the bottom, it looks so impossible. I think how high we have to climb. They just keep going nice and slowly, keep it going steady, before you know it, you're at the top. It's amazing to think that just only a short while ago we were all the way down there. Now we're here, probably halfway up I think at the moment. Yeah, and maybe you know Taboroni. Uh, Taboroni, it's uh, uh, chocolate and chocolate. Uh, Company. Chocolate company. Yeah, company it actually, it it looks like the same mountain over there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Have a look at that. Yeah, that's a Topra chunk there. Not sure whether it was a good idea that we bought four big potatoes today for our evening dinner and carry them all up this mountain. No one know why I made a, put them in my fun bag earlier today. There's an 800 meters now and 200 meters to go. And we're at the top. We're at 1,900 meters altitude. Top 
this hill here. 2,000 meters, no, it's about 1,990. Really well done. You two, really good climbing. 60 kilometers to cars. Getting closer and closer all the time. Really strong climbing. Keep going, that's what's on the t-shirt. Let's see why you climb a mountain. Once again, Jamie's got speed and power until the end. Last 100 meters, Chris Froome leaves Bjarne Reese and Contador behind. <laughs> A little guy with all the power. Well done, Jamie. Toblerone Mountain there. Looks nice. Try and find the name of that later maybe. So there's a national park to our left here so we can find a place to camp. So it's turned up in this little looks like a ski sports resort. That's in the petrol station down there. He said we could camp somewhere up here so now we just this is a hotel that's used in the winter by the looks of it. It's nobody here now so we'll just camp behind there tonight. And the view is much big improvement over where we've been staying the last few days. So that's nice. Okay, tents up on the ski resort camping. This is the kind of camping places I've missed the last few days, all those petrol stations, isn't it? Really nice to find a place like this again. We can see some nice nature outside the tent. Perfect. So, get the cookie going. Here we notice there's a small stream over here we can have a washing. It's also a bit luxury. It's a great place. Meadow and Jamie are hard at work peeling potatoes. We've had lentils, lentils, lentils for many days now, so I know it's nice for. I carried one kilo of potato or something. Yeah. A mountain. Oh, yeah, I told them about this earlier, and you can see that the potatoes have been carrying. Yeah. I'd really like something else today. Now we're here in ski sport camping. That's what reminds me of Italy, a little bit more of Austria than Turkey, right here. Nice to be free of trucks and uh, smell of diesel oil, and <laughs> so this is much more. Idyllic, just got the sound of the stream there and a few crickets in the background. This is more like it. <laughs> this is the kind of place I want to find. <laughs> <laughs> 